Hi guys, welcome back to my single player scum. And we've had a little update. Uh, they've added some bicycles, or well, one one bicycle actually, uh, a classic bike. They've added a new POI, which is where we are now, at the campsite in C0, down by the river. And they've also added some suppressors for the M82 and the Hunter rifle, which is nice. So I thought we would go and check out the new campsite. And let's go camping. And there is a wolf somewhere near me, which I don't like. So yeah, <coughs> let's go and have a look at the campsite. It's completely new. I've never been here before. This is the first time. Uh, so I'm recording this as we discover it. Because I have no idea. Let's see if we can get a little bit of height. See if we can see what's happening. Can we jump up here? Just so I can get a little survey of the area. Okay, so there's a barbecue slash restaurant place there. Some camper vans there. Caravans as I call them. And mobile homes. Another one there. Uh, don't see many puppets though. That looks like the office or the toilets. And I'm always. Oh, a basketball hoop. Can I pick that up? No. Can I kick it? Well, that would have been nice if I could have picked it up. This is table tennis, maybe? I'm guessing. So, yeah. <coughs> Little update for us. Adding something new. Keep us on our toes. Uh, not quite sure why I can't see anyone, though. Or anything. Somebody left there. Dirty washing. Oh, there's a dock there as well, look. If you want to go out on the river. I'm thirsty. You're always thirsty, dude. You are always thirsty. Oh, I'm also sweating because I'm rather hot. Oh, you can actually go in them. Okay, I didn't know that. I just thought they were static. That's pretty cool. The fact that you can actually go in them. That's pretty cool. I like that. <coughs> uh, leather, sweatpants, tracksuit top. Wine cork. Pretty basic. Pretty basic, but pretty cool. I like that you can go in them. That's awesome. The one thing I have asked for, for me personally, I think having tents like this that you can um, erect and go into and you know sleep like past the night time for example if you don't want to you don't want to travel at night obviously it's very dangerous to travel at night so you can just carry a tent with you obviously it will take up some of your space in your in inventory but you know because we do have um, we do have, where is it, if I can find it, we do have this, but it's a sort of static thing, you can't move it anywhere, so um, I would like to see one that you can pack up, take with you on the move kind of thing, that would be awesome, the garlic, raw, I'll take a bit of garlic, that doesn't look too good though, yeast, can I check taste of that? Okay, let's eat some yeast. That's quick. Um, yeah, I think having a tent like that would uh, add another level of realism. Because you know, if you did, if you did have that, then you would be using it, I guess. This is very much so season one of Walking Dead. 
this is. I thought this place would be infested, but actually it's not that bad at the moment. What's this? this is a big ass. Mobile water supply, mobile water supply. Can I drink from there? Ah, these are the wash basins. These are the wash basins. This is somebody's suitcase. Some earmuffs. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily want to wash out here. Okay, let's speed up a little bit. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, you made me jump. Uh oh. Okay. So they are in here then. These are the showers. I was not expecting her, it was so quiet. That made me jump, that did. Two of seven. Another one. Here, I guess. There we go. Uh, nothing else in here. Close that door. This is the shop. Anybody in the shop? Can't see anyone. But what I can see. Oh. Good to know that the shop owner was protecting himself. Sunflower seeds, eat all of those. Sunflower seeds are always very good. Right, I got one shot left in here. Takes us outside. Toilet. So not much in the shop other than a Halloween mask. Okay, let's get back on the road and head down. I like the fact that you can go in these, I think that's pretty cool. Rather than just being static objects. Oh, I thought that was a body bag then. Lime soda. Because I'm sure I'll be thirsty soon. More sweatpants. I am thirsty. You're always thirsty, dude. You're always thirsty. It would be good if... Um, puppets were actually in here. That would be quite cool as well. What's that? Cheese. Take some cheese, why not? I'm actually rather hot, so let's take some of this off. Because I'm sweating a wee bit. You can see by the drip slits running down the screen. Let's see, something like that. Maybe a little bit bigger. But just something like that that you can erect. You'd have to find it, obviously. It's not something you would craft. You'd have to find like a two-man tent or a one-man tent. Oh, there's a hiking backpack there. I might come back for that. Because I've only got the one. So, if I just leave that there. So I know where it is. Caravan with the open door. Um... <coughs> can we get in there? Yes, we can. Douglas gloves. Cool master. Can't get in this one though. This one's. Does it have. Oh, yes, it does. This side. Why would the awning be on. What was that? Tequila. Not now that alcohol milk. That's always useful. Oh, a salt backpack. I want that too. What's that? Metal arrow. Uh, right, hang on, let's have a drink. The assault backpack is my favourite <coughs> of the backpacks. I know it's a bit smaller, but it has a... Uh, it's nice and compact and it's a good size. So if we put that in there, we can carry that. What's this? Sardines? Oh yes. It's one of the rarest things in the game. 
and the most important things. So if we uh, do that, what we should be able to do, if I equip that, and I can leave that one there. There we go. See? Uh, what else we got? More tents. It's a shame you can't get any water from these um, water bowsers. Someone was having a bit of party in this one. Something on the bed. Nine mil. Hmm. Could there possibly be a weapon in here? Mm, maybe in the fridge? No. Can we check these? No, oh, we can check all these up here. That's one thing. Another sawn off, and that's actually in way better condition than that one. I'll take that. Ah. <coughs> so maybe this is a Campsite with a difference, then. Now there's the beach. Slightly overgrown. Ah, there's a water thing. Wonder if I can get some water from this. <laughs> fill water bottle, yes. Can I fill my canister? No. Okay, never mind. I wonder why it chose a water bottle over my canister. Uh, got anything here? Barbecue area. No items found. Okay, let's head down. Oh, it's a seesaw. Does it work? No. That's a shame broken swing. Whenever I see stuff like that. What have we got? Vegetable soup. I'm not even going to pronounce that. Venison stew, summer roll, beef steak, pancakes, honey glazed pork. That sounds nice. Greek salad. Spaghetti bolognese. Ah. Uh, Honey glazed pork for me, I think. That sounds nice. That does. Honey and meat. Always goes together. This tastes funny. Uh, don't eat that then. If it tastes funny, don't eat it. Otherwise you will be very sick. And you don't want to be sick when you all of a sudden find yourself stuck between a gang of puppets. And you're sick. Oh, that's quite a long way down, actually. Okay. Please don't fall in, please don't fall in, please don't fall in. Maybe this is a bad idea. I'm still feeling slightly warm. What else? What can I get rid of? Uh, what's empty? Let's take my military shirt off. How do I look? What's in my jacket? Ah, uh, maybe that's what I should take off. Let's put the shirt back on and let's take the jacket off. And tactical sweater. Okay. Didn't realise I had a tactical sweater on. There we go. That's 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 what I was achieving. Trying to achieve, not achieving, trying to achieve. I think there's only one more caravan left and then it's over to the beach. Go and see what the water temperature's like. Uh, search this funky old briefcase, a beanie hat, a kilt. Uh, where's the door? Actually surprised, I thought they would be... Okay, that potato was rough. Pirate's eye patch. I thought there would be um, more puppets here, to be honest. Okay, so that's just one. Combat boots. Ooh. What have I got? Construction boots. Combat boots are good because they give you a, a little socket. 
a little socket. They give you some slots, but I will keep my construction goods. Uh, hang on, I need to. Ooh, that's big. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's 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 make a bit of space here. Put that in there, and I can put one more item in there. Let's put that in there. And now I just need to do a bit of jiggery pokery. There we go. Uh, I did search. No, I didn't search everything. No, not for me. Yoga pants. Now let's head down to the beach. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, whenever I see stuff like this, old, broken, damaged, kids play stuff. Always, rem always reminds me of Chernobyl. Now this is a nice little fishing spot. You see any fish? No. See? Look, someone was sitting here, fishing, having a nice time, and then all of a sudden it all went to shit. What I would like them to do, what I think would be really cool from a narrative point of view, is if they could start adding like, you know how sometimes when you go to a bunker, uh, or you go into some offices of some military personnel, or the control room, and there's loads of paperwork on the desk? What would be really cool is if they started adding, like, a, a backstory, so you could find out, you know, you'd have to search and everything and, and find out for yourself what happened here, and why, what are the dead the puppets, you know, are they genetically modified things from the government for the for us prisoners, you know, are they robots, you know, basically a bit like Westworld, you know, and this is, because this is an island all for the entertainment of the the general public, this is, a, you have to remember this is a, a TV show that we're in, so, you know, a bit like where I thought that was a bunker then, a bit like Westworld, you know, where we've been planted here and it would be good if we could find out well these are the showers. If we could find out what happened, you know, what are the puppets? Like I said, are they are they robots or are they really truly undead zombies? But were they cut were they genetically engineered by the government, or was it a virus? Who knows, you know, because we don't know what's happening on the outside world. For all we know, this could be spread everywhere. What is that over there? Ah. That's quite a funky little place. Not seen that before. Maybe that's also new. I don't know. Very rarely do I come over here. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, if they could start adding, you know, like, little... <coughs> maybe one piece of paper. Like, for example, something like this. Which you just have to... It's got some notes on it, but actually, you know, designed to be read. So you could find out what's happening and stuff like that. What is this? Nylon line. Medium. Fishing wire for smaller fish up to 3k. Okay. I'll take that. I'm getting heavy now, I'll have to drop this stuff off in the car, I think. But I don't think there's much more to check around here. I think that would be really cool if they could add something like that. I think it would make, you know, just to give a little bit of a backstory as to what this virus, whatever they are, the puppets, you know, how they got here. And maybe who who we are, you know, because, I mean, I know that we're an arsonist <laughs> from, from the creation screen and, you know, we have our name and stuff like that. That's pretty cool, the way they've designed that around there. I like that. That's nice detail. Um, yeah, I think that would be quite cool, you know. Just, just a little extra narrative to the whole. There's a lot of earmuffs around here. 
just a little extra narrative to the whole thing. Uh, I am getting very heavy. I have to say, it's because of these boots, I think. Cargo drop, but I don't have any screwdrivers, so I am thirsty again. Dude, you only just drank. Jesus Christ. Any boats? No boats, not that I can see. Oh, this looks a bit shady though, with all the holes in it. Oh, hang on, there's some. There is a little bit more. Ah, so these are the huts that you can rent. If you don't want to be in a camper van, I guess, I'm assuming. Um, we've got here more fingerless gloves. Cool, I didn't, I didn't want to rest. It's a shirt. Yeah, these are the little cabins. Some shotgun shells over there. I am guessing we might have no <coughs> shotgun things I'll take. We don't need Christmas yet. Shower. Nice big shower head. Now let's take this out the back. To the rubbish bins. Uh let's finish going this way. up here. And more huts. This place is actually quite big, I have to say. This would be a nice place to to um, telephone. What's that? Biker jacket. Some glue. Search. <coughs> Nothing. Shower. High top shoes. Let's go down a bit. I'm very thirsty. Why are you so thirsty all the time, man? <coughs> Must be because I'm carrying too much. Is it 12.5 kilos? Yeah, it's getting a bit heavy now. All right, let's take three swigs of this. Put that back. But I have to say, I'm a little bit surprised, maybe because they haven't zoomed, zoomed in. <laughs> maybe because they haven't spawned in yet. But I would have thought they would have been here by now. Nothing. Nothing. Is there anything up here? A big communal area. The barbecue. Oh, there's another thing there. But it'll be empty. It's getting windy. This is, yeah, let's see. Seating for a basketball match, although it is a bit odd. Right, if I get rid of that, can I refill this? Mm, can I do it that way? Fill, no. That's a bum. Oh well, at least I filled it up again, I suppose. It's a bit strange why it's taking the water bottle over your canteen, but never mind. Never mind. Children and people on bicycles. I'm surprised there isn't a bike here, actually. That m maybe there is. <coughs> it would be nice if we could find one. Go for a little ride. On a bicycle. I do like riding bicycles. Was that lead plates? It was lead plates. Oh, the van is going to make me even heavier, but... Uh, nothing else. Okay, something there. A tomato. Check taste. Raw. Eat. No nom on a tomato. There's loads of these buildings. These huts. There's three down there. There's four up here. Okay, I've searched that one because it's got open doors. Yeah, I was heading this way and then I got distracted by those boxes. Huh. I'm easily distracted. Some smart shoes. Don't quite know why you would want those in a zombie apocalypse, but there you go. Who knows? Each to their own, I guess. Each to their own. Some Elton John glasses. And some insulating rubber jobs. So some Elton John glasses, some rubber gloves, oh shit, and 
some smart shoes. I wonder what was happening in that caravan. A fishing floater. Gotta pick that up. Oh, they're my favourite boots. So I'll get rid of those ones and I'll take those ones. Yay! Good old pair of Tims. I am a sucker for a pair of Tims. I have to say. I am a sucker for a pair of Tims. What else we got? Anything in here? Charcoal. Some cheese. Right. <coughs> this might actually be a nice little place for a bunker, you know. Bunker, not a bunker. A, ca uh, uh, a base. Sort of build a wall around here. You've got access to the uh, river for fishing and, and boats. You know, cut that off. I can see a lot of people who who play on multiplayer and and do a lot uh, a lot of role playing will turn this into a communal place. I mean, it's a good, awesome place for it, you know. You, you've got all the huts for individual people, so you can have one person in there, one in there, one in there, as their base, you know. Uh, question is, let's just have a quick look. Can you, if we quickly go to crafting, where is a cabinet? Can you put that in here? Or will it not allow you? Oh, because I don't haven't put a flag down, have I? Yeah. But I'm pretty sure you'd be able to. Uh, let's try... Where's the... Fortifications. Can you put those on? Oh, yes, you can, look. Yeah, okay. So I'm sure people will uh, will be using this awesome location for it and the, the fact that everybody's got their own little hut I think is pretty cool. Right let's go and grab that backpack because I don't think there's much more to see here. Oh look somebody tried fortifying a little bit. I'd like to find a bicycle. There's some more fishing wire. Another lime soda there as well. Seeing as you drink every 30 seconds now in this game. Like I said last time, I think that does need tweaking just a little bit. Just a tiny weeny bit. Ah. Shut up. Have I not been in here? Maybe this is another one? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Uh, what's this building? I haven't seen this, have I? No, I haven't been up here. Definitely not. What's that? Dog food. Oh, look. Another shop. A bigger shop. Um, a restaurant. Oh, fireworks. It's getting windy. Ah, oh, there's a car park. Can I get into the shop? Yes, I can get into the shop. Can you give me some more sardines? Yes, sardines are cool. Okay, I need to remember that then. Uh, check taste. I need to remember the place to come for sardines is... Well, I suppose you could also go to the sardine factory, the fish factory. Which I don't think I've actually visited yet. But also the campsite now has a good supply of sardines. Right, okay. Let's go and check out the parking lot. Too many cars wasted. It's just going to be scrap, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Like, for example, you know, these are all burnt. So how did they get burnt? What happened to them? Obviously they got burnt in a fire, that's you know <laughs> easily easy thing to say, but you know, what happened? Q 
here? Was it, you know, the government, something get out of control? Was it done on purpose for, you know, television effect? Or is this, you know, what year are we in here? Because we don't know. All we know is what's on this island. And that's it. Outside the island, we have no idea what's going on. What is that on the floor over there? Is that a random car repair kit? Yes, yes it is. Okay. I would not have expected to have found that there, I have to say. Right, and we're back at the shop again, I think. I quite like it here, I think it's a pretty cool place. Like I said, I think tons of people are going to use this for the role-playing stuff. I mean, I, I, I watch some of the role the role-playing stuff, I think it's awesome, so, um, you know, to have a camp here, a survivor camp, I mean, it really is basically just straight out of The Walking Dead, maybe not with all of this stuff, because The Walking Dead was just a couple of tents, and, um, I can't remember his name, the guy's camper, or mobile home, but I can't remember that character's name from the TV show. Where are my backpacks? There they are. Let's put that away and let's pick that up. And let's slowly head over to our car, which is up there, I think. Yes. So yeah, it's quite a cool little place. I like it a lot. Uh, but I want to go and check out that on the other side of the river go and see what that is so and I also need to unload some of this stuff because as you can see my back is taking quite a hammering I was also kind of hoping to find a bicycle here I thought there might have been you know campsite kids with bikes adults with bikes going for rides in the woods and stuff like that might have been a good place to find a bicycle. Uh, I hope my car is here somewhere. But yes, uh, do I have. I think I might get rid of these uh, camo trousers. I'm not, not feeling the, the camo look at the moment. I mean, the, the, the ghillie look, that's what I wanted to say, not the camo look. The ghillie look and find something else to wear because you know in a game like this when there's millions watching appearance is everything you have to look the part I think maybe we'll try and go for an all black look is that a mushroom? that is a mushroom or is it a rock? nope it's a big ass chunky mushroom which I hope won't poison me because I don't know I really hope I don't get the bad bowel movement after this otherwise I'll know not to eat the brown mushrooms but it's a nice mushroom what mushroom is it does it say I can't even pronounce that while it is distributed in the northern hemisphere across Europe, Asia, North Asia, it does not occur naturally in the southern hemisphere, although it has been introduced into southern Africa, Australia, and New Zealand. Uh, oh, it gives you a lot of carbs. A little bit of vitamin D, B9. Gives you a lot of B1, 2, and 3 vitamins, though. Wow. And B5. Nice. Right. Let's get rid of this lot. Um, do I have any more room in here, or is this full? Oh, I do have an assault backpack. Um, okay, I didn't know that. Huh. We are running out of room a bit. That's not good. Oh dear. Alright, let's dump some of this in here. Get rid of you, get rid of you. But I'm, I'm sort of glad that we came over here anyway, because... Um, this is the place where this area, this part of the map, is where I want to build the base, so I'll keep one sardines on me, I'll keep one milk on me, 
I'll keep a mushroom on. Don't need that carbon head and arrow. Don't need the fishing rod. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm kind of glad that we came over here in the end because um, it's quite a good place to be actually. Because this is where I want to build my base somewhere. Right. Let's go and head. Let's go over the bridge and go and check out what that place is. I don't know what that is, and I'm also running low on fuel. Let's just back up. So, and there was two big, um, what looked like petrol tankers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slippery tires. What looked like petrol petrol tankers, but they may not have been, of course. They may be gas. So, um,. Yeah, let's go and check out what that is, because I don't know what that is. It's quite a long, winding road down to the campsite. But yes, this is where I want to turn. And this should take us over the bridge. I hope. Yep. What does it look like here? No, oh, that's... That is an awesome place for roleplay. Um, what is this place down here? I want to know. There's an orchard. Actually, whilst I'm here, what I will do is I'll quickly see if we can get any fruit from these trees. What have we got? An apple? So, an apple. Ooh, a grapefruit. Bad grapefruit. Yeah, no, spoiled. Search. An apple. An apple. There should also be, I think there's pear as well, isn't there? Nothing. Anything in here? Nothing. Search. I think I'm sure there are pears as well. I think maybe this is just an apple orchard. I think a walnut. I want to try and avoid eating their MREs and things like that because they just give you a small axe. What's that? Okay, I've already got a small axe, but that's pretty cool. A bobby pin. Strange place for a bobby pin. There we go. There we go. We're getting a couple of a few bits and pieces of fruit here, which is always good. This should give us some needed vitamins and stuff like that. We've got here. Ooh, binos. Take binos. Cool. All right, let's go and head down to this funky place. Don't know what this funky place is, but we'll head down there. Hoping there's a fuel thing here for boats, maybe that I can refill up a little bit because I'm getting really low. I'm going to have to find one soon. Where is that place? Oops, wrong button. So this road just takes me straight to it. Okay. Um. Yeah, here it is. See, I would say. There would be fuel here. The question is, whenever there's fuel, yes, look, see, there you are. There's one. I uh, don't know if that's a suicide one. You. <laughs> are definitely a suicide one. Leave me alone. Uh. Ooh, where's my axe? Come on. There we go. 
that is what I was waiting for. And I'm hoping... No, it didn't take them out. It's a very bad shot. So was that. Okay, so if there's an explosive one... Come on, get your breath back. There goes one. Come on, get your breath back. Hold your breath. There we go. Oh, you plum. If there was an explosive one, then there's definitely fuel here, so I can bring the car in and hopefully, maybe, fill up the gas canister. Oh, that didn't kill her. That did. Here we go. Always do that, every time. Alright, let's just reload that again. It's getting dark. Reload this. And let's go down here. No, 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 not in the back, not in the back. In the front. Thank you. Don't think there's any more. Besides, I was shooting those shots fairly loudly. I'm pretty sure if there were any more, they would have come down. Okay, let's just roll. Oh, it's a quad bike. Don't want a quad bike. Let's go and get rid of these people. Puppets. Zombies. <laughs> Cheeky sod. What have we got in here? A biker jacket. A banana. Oh good, getting a lot of fruit today. Another walnut. Sugar I won't take. Yes, there's the fuel. Okay, we got two bars. Well, wow, that's loud. Okay, what's this? Uh, can we get in here? We can, but we can't. I don't, shouldn't really go in there with a weapon, <laughs> just in case. You shoot one of those, you'll know about it. Right, uh, let's holster that. Let's get this out. Go and fill her up much as we can before they all respawn in again. Fill three bars, not bad. Okay, so one bar is one full canister, so we've got three. So let's go and do this then. Quickly fill fuel. How much does that give us? Let's have a look. Okay, it gives a fair chunk. It gives a fair chunk. One... I just don't want to fall in because, um... I will sink. <laughs> Ooh, we've got half... half of one. So it's one and a bit, basically, to fill up the gas canister. Fill. Will that give us half the tank? Yeah, almost. Right, and then the last little dribs. Fill. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, she's empty. And she, hopefully, will be three quarters? No, I think it's just going to go above the battery. Yeah, as I said. <laughs> right, let's put you back in. See, this is why I always carry a gas canister with me in the vehicle. Because it's a good little thing. Right. Let's head on further down into B0. And I think what we're going to do now... Oh, no. 
is. Let's see if we can find a good location to start putting a base down. And I did say I wanted to be over at this section. Oh, this is another thing they've changed. They've changed the point of the um, field of view when you're driving. So you now get this zoomed out look when you're driving at speed. And it pulls you in when you're driving a bit slower. The question is, do I want to be on this side of the river? No, I don't want to be on this side of the river, I don't think. I'd rather be on this side, the other side of the river. Because that has... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what that was. This side of the... That's a random tree in the middle of the uh, ocean. Okay. This is the mainland side, so... What we want to do now is... This will take us back to... Uh, hmm. That's the swamp. So let's go down. Let's just keep, keep going down for now. Oh, I'm such a moron. I really am sometimes. I don't know where I'm going. I wanted to go this way, not that way. Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh. I'm already at half health on this, which is not good. I do have uh, two repair kits, I think. But I don't think they're 100%, so... I need to... Repair them. Yeah, this will take us back over the river again, where that random tree is. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's that random tree. Oh, that's quite funky. Don't think that's supposed to be there. But we'll just brush over that. We'll ignore that. Now, I did find, when I was at on the previous episodes, scavenging for this vehicle, I did find an awesome place for a base. Um, but there's just one small... God damn. One small little issue. I cannot, for the life of me, remember where it is. I think Actually, it's in C0, looking at the map like that. Did I go the right way? Yes. I think it's in C0, so I think it's here, this place. Uh, hmm, I can't remember now where it was. Maybe it was in C1? Whatever. This might be a nice little place, although I would have to build a hut, which I want to avoid. I want to fortify a building, so let's just ignore that one for now. Yeah, I'd rather... I did a hut in Season 1. I built the big medium hut, which took... Oh, that was close. Which took a hell of a lot of wood, but I'd rather use a house. I, w I want one of those houses, buildings, that has got a house and a barn that has already got a drill press in it. And you know they've got those little uh, fences around it? Oh look, see something like this coming up. This will have most probably this will have a drill press yeah, see, it's got the little fence, it's got an entrance. See, something like this would be awesome. But I would like one of those next to a lake or a river. I need to defecate. Oh dear. Um, okay, well, we're going to have to get away from there. And let's head back up here. Oh, a barrier. But what I should do is... Let's just get a little bit further away from there. Otherwise, I'm going to make a mess of my car, which I don't want to do. So let's just stop here before this house. 
and let's quickly use the bushes. Uh, where are we? There we go. Quickly get this over and done with. It does look a bit battered, my vehicle. Mm. I might repair it now quickly. Come on. That's all the nuts. Finished. 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 Right, uh what I will do quickly. Yes, that's what I wanna do. Uh repair. Just because we're beginning to smoke already, and if I hit... Okay, that used the whole 41. If I hit something, uh, it could explode, and it took me so long to find this. I don't want to lose it, and all the stuff I've got inside of it. See, that would be pretty cool, but again, it's just... I want something next to a river, so... That's why... I was looking in the C0 section. I'm pretty sure it was C0 where I found that thing, uh, you know. Uh, um, can't bloody remember. No, I know where it was. I've just just spotted it now. It's in C1. I'm going to head there now. Yeah, these are the swamps. This is the swamp, swamp area. But I've just spotted that place. So I'm going to head there. Right now. Thirsty again. Come on, dude. Give me a break. Holy moly, I did not see that rock. God damn. So much for repairing my car. But actually, it's a good job I did repair it, because if I would have hit that at half health, there would have been some more smoke coming out the engine, I can tell you. Uh, wait, 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 because I don't want to fall into... God damn it. Is this the place? I'm pretty sure this is the place. Let me check. There's a river. Is it this one? Uh, I don't think this one has a... I need to check on the map. No, it's not this one. It's the one higher up. It's the one above it. So let's go to the one above it then, which is uh, back over the river. Oh my god! What the hell? Yeah, it should be the one coming up on this road. <coughs> because... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one that I found, yes. It's got the little small fence. Come on, you can do it. But I can't remember, and it has that. Yes, for fishing. This is what we wanted. This is the one that I found. Because we can fence all of this off. It will have a drill press. Let's just clear the area. Come on. Get, get rid of them and then I'll show you around quickly. And then I think we're going to call it... Oh, look, he fell over. Call it a day. Okay. Die! Didn't want to waste my ammo doing this, but it's quicker. Really? Okay. Right. This, I think, 
is where we're going to call home. And that looks like a hiking backpack in there. Yes, because we can um, fortify this all up. Let's just head in here first. We've got a little... It is a hiking backpack. See, we've got a little bedroom. I can fortify all these windows. A Father Christmas. Rao, you're really pushing the Christmas stuff. It is too early for Christmas. See, we've got that. We've got a little... I guess a storage facility. And then in here... We've got a drill press for crafting. We've got two drill presses. See? And a lathe. So I think... But then what we've also got is for these beautiful evenings like tonight, we've got our own little path. And if I were to get myself um, one of them rubber dinghies, in fact, there might actually be one down here. We've got our own little path. Look at that. There is a boat already here. So this is perfect for a base. We are definitely making a base here. We've got a little boat. Uh, nails. Scrap. Yep. Even comes with its own boat. How cool is that? And a shovel. And what we can also do is fish. Um, drive. There we go. I don't know if it has any fuel. It's got a little bit. How do you drive then, I wonder? It's not pulling the ripcord. Some reason. Unanchor. Drive. It should. Ah, there we go. Okay. Doing it with one arm, but there we go. Look, see? Beautiful sunset. Actually, the first time since 0 0.6, I have found a boat. Would you believe? So let's go and put this under cover. Whoa! We're supposed to slow down. And now let's anchor. There we go. So yeah, we have a boat. Uh, how much, uh, just out of curiosity, how much storage does it have? Mm, a little bit, but it's got very little fuel. So yeah, this is going to be home. This is where we're going to build a base. And there's plenty of trees around for wood, got plenty of resources, because it will... Um, it will take some wood to to f you know sort of go around the perimeter of this everywhere. I mean, I can cut it through here; it doesn't have to go follow the line of the fence. But but this certainly, I would like to follow the line of the fence, and we can fortify these buildings. Uh, I didn't actually check here. Let's just have a quick look. Let's see. There's already some wood here that we can use. Feathers. Uh, let's go up. Hopefully there isn't anybody asleep up here. Nope. There we go. And in case... Ooh! Ooh! Some grapes! I'll eat them. Will that hurt? Shouldn't do. No. There we go. So yeah, there we go. Welcome, welcome to our new home. Um... 
And I think on that bomb, sh let me just uh, put that in the car, just so we don't lose it. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to have to build some more boxes as well, but I'll do that off off camera. Or I might do what I did before, a little time lapse kind of thing. So yeah, welcome to our new home. I think it's quite cool, you're not exactly on the bed, but okay, fair enough. Uh, so I'm going to start building up with this fortifying it and stuff like that and hopefully next time we'll have some progress it may not be completed in one go but hopefully next time we'll have a little bit of progress so thanks very much for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe like comment if you wish let me know what you want to see what you want me to do that kind of stuff and I'll catch you in the next one